elementary school was a beautiful time. We played many games, learning was always fun, and most importantly, we had a recess. It was a time I will never get back, but will treasure the memories forever. After school, I would come home, hang out with friends, do homework, and eat dinner. After dinner, I would always take a hot shower and then crawl into bed. One of my special memories that I hold close to my heart is reading with my father. After I was tucked into bed, we would read a book out loud together. From R.L. Stein books to Goofy books, we would read them all. One series of books we loved to read were Amber Brown books. These were silly books that are very enjoyable to read. Though Amber Brown books weren't as popular as Judy B. Jones books, they are very similar. Amber Brown books were originally written by Paula Danziger, later written by Elizabeth Levy and Bruce Koval. Early editions are illustrated by Tony Ross and later by Anthony Lewis. The Amber Brown books are about a young girl named Amber Brown who faces many challenges throughout third grade. I, Amber Brown, is about a nine-year-old girl, Amber, that is struggling to adjust to her new life with two divorced parents. Growing up, I had a great childhood. I had two married parents, lived in a beautiful home, and had four best friends by my side. I consider myself lucky growing up, but I know this isn't the case for every student. Amber Brown comes from a broken home and is still greatly affected by it. She is having to deal with her arguing parents and the fact that her parents are never getting back together. This is a great book that many children can relate to. Paula Danziger truly has a way of getting inside the mind of a third grader. Though the books are about Amber Brown's life, there are many other supporting characters. Justin was Amber's best friend in the entire world. They did everything together and had an unbreakable bond until Justin moved to Alabama. Amber's parents are divorced and Amber's mom has a new boyfriend, Max. When Amber isn't staying with her mom, she is staying with her dad at his friend's house. His friend has an older son and two younger children, Savannah and Dylan. Dylan loves to mess with Amber and really gets on her nerves. My favorite Amber Brown book is called Amber Brown is Not a Crown. This is a sweet story about a third grader, Amber Brown, whose best friend, Justin Daniels, is moving to Alabama with his family. Because the two kids can't express their feelings about losing each other, they end up not talking to each other. Thankfully, at the end, they make up. The Amber Brown series originally ended in 2004 with the passing of the author, Paula Danziger. In 2012, a new title in the series, Amber Brown is Tickled Pink, was announced, written by Bruce Koval and Elizabeth Levy, Paula's two best friends. The new title was released on September 13, 2012. Tony Ross returned as the illustrator for these great books. Two additional titles are scheduled for 2013 and 2014. The second new title, Amber Brown is on the Move, was released on September 12, 2013. And Amber Brown is Horsing Around was due out in 2014. As I sit here late at night watching my daughter sleep, I can only wonder about her growing up. Will she be into sports or dance? What will she accomplish throughout her lifetime? I also wonder what special moments we will share. My daughter recently turned one, and she is on the move. It is hard to keep her still, but when she sees me sitting on the floor with the book in my hand, she crawls her way over and sits on my lap. Since there have recently been new Amber Brown books released, I wonder if we too will share the same memories that I once shared with my father as a little girl.